Hello, hello everyone. GM, good night, good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world, welcome to uh, day five of Black Magic. Wow, it's been already a full week of our hackathon. And tonight with us, uh, we have Weenie from Optimism, who will be taking you through how to build on the OP stack. Um, and with that, Weenie, I'll take it over to you. And thank you so much for joining us. Um, do you want to put on the slides? Yes. Thank you, Sophia. Um, hi, everyone. Um, today, I'll give a presentation on building on the OP stack. And uh, my name is Winnie. I work at OP Labs, and I'm a contributor to the Optimism Collective. And in this workshop, I'll bas basically give a quick overview about what's the OP stack and the super chain. And I'll introduce a little I will introduce Scaffold OP, um, OP Labs official boilerplate for building dApps on the super chain and a quick demo on how to deploy a dApp on OP stack in under 10 minutes. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so first, what is the OP stack and the super chain? Um, whenever I ask this question, I get like a very varied um, number of understanding. So I'll just go ahead and explain um, first it's important to understand why we need L2s in the first place. So right now, L1 fees are very expensive because of limited block space. And we have limited block space because we need to bound compute on L1 such that validators can execute and validate all those transactions within 12 seconds block time. And it also is a way to make sure that transactions don't run forever. And so one way to... And um, so since that L1 is only responsible for storing the commitment to that compute now, the cost is significantly smaller because you're expensing less computational resources. And so it's going to result in cheaper uh, transactions fee. And that's essentially what an L2 is. And if we're trying to compete with Visa or like MasterCard in the future, uh, transaction fees need to be low. And the way L1 is today is just not enough. It's just never going to be low enough for this to work. So, but with this, as we look at the state of L2 today, we actually have a lot of L2s and this is a fantastic thing. We actually want many, many L2s out there. So it basically enables horizontal scalability, but um, the way we're spinning up L2s today actually present a few challenges. So with every new chain, we have a new code base and we're introducing new security models and a bunch of like zero day bugs. Um, we also need a set of a new set of like sequencers and validators to check the blocks validity every time we spin up a new chain. So that kind of bootstrapping is difficult. And lastly, we also have fragmentation and liquidity, which result in a horrible user experience. So the big question ends up being, is there a way to have this kind of multi-chain future without all of these problems? And so in other words, it's is it possible for us to kind of have all the benefits of having multiple chains without all of its problems? And the answer to this question is actually quite simple and elegant. And um, it's actually through implementing an open source standards within L2. So as we have, if we have by creating like a, and collaborating on a common open source standard, we can actually recycle code that's been thoroughly audited and battle tested. This significantly reduces number of zero day bugs and vulnerabilities. We also get to reuse the same set of sequencers and validators for bootstrapping because it's the same software anyways. And lastly, because of a shared security model, we can bridge liquidity from one chain to the other uh, with a lot more robust security and just better user experience. Um, so this is essentially what the OP stack is. Um, the OP stack was originally made for OP mainnet and, and OP stack is, it has a free and it's, it's free and available for any teams to fork to deploy their own chain. 
And like Ethereum, we have multiple core teams working together to implement the OP stack. For example, Coinbase's base team and also with test and prod. And with a shared open source standard, an app can go from base to Zora, Zora to OP mainnet, and OP mainnet to Lisk. And that experience is quite seamless uh, in the future. And so to iterate, the OP stack is a open source standard that the Optimism Collective is championing. And the super chain is the ecosystem of these L2s who are running on the OP stack today together. And together, um, the members of this super chain, the mem members who contribute to the super chain are known as the Optimism Collective. Super chain. And yes. So that is the end of my presentation for what is uh, the super chain and the OP stack. And next, I will provide a little, uh, I will explain, I'll introduce Scaffold OP and provide a little demo. So now that you're convinced about building your decentralized app on the OP stack and super chain, how do you actually do it? Um, so we introduced uh, Scaffold OP, which is a minimal fork, minimal difference fork of the famous starter kit uh, called Scaffold ETH that some of you may have used in the past. And Scaffold OP is a, essentially has some added functionalities of um, um, super chain dev console, super chain test nets, and you can start building on building with scaffold op you can actually start building a dap on the super chain in less than five minutes so for the next for the rest of this workshop i'm going to change gears and i'm going to give a quick demo of how you can go from zero to 100 using scaffold op um sophia do you think you can put on the video that i have prepared today i'm going to be giving a quick demo on how to use scaffold op to build a dApp on the super chain in under five minutes. So Scaffold OP is a fork of Scaffold ETH2 with minimal differences, with some additional dApp examples and native support for super chain test nets and lower level instructions for those who are beginners. Um, Scaffold OP and Scaffold ETH are built using Next.js, Rainbow Kit, Hard Hat, Wagme VM, and TypeScript. So the best in class tooling today for building a decentralized application. Um, so most of the instructions that I'm going to be given today are actually within the readme of this repo. I highly recommend you checking this out if you're confused at any point and follow along at your own pace. Additionally, we have the super chain app quick start guide on the optimism docs that I also recommend checking out if you have other questions. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so first I'm going to clone and installed all the dependencies of Scaffold OP, which I did here already. And next, I am going to in, um, start up the backend with Yarn Chain, which spins up the local hard hat testnet. And next, I'm going to do Yarn Start, which spins up the front end with Next.js. So if we visit localhost now, And before that, I'm also going to, on a separate terminal, I'm also going to deploy the contracts that we will be using that as an example. So let's just take a look at the example contracts. So, so these are the contracts that we have as an example. So if we do yarn deploy, it will deploy these contracts to the local testnet or whatever the default testnet is. Um, so let's refresh. Here, we'll see the buy me a coffee contract. And you can do very useful debugging with like this um, simple UI to kind of call functions within the contract to do your testing. So these are all the contracts. And if you add additional contracts, they will all show up here on this interface. And additionally, we have the super chain DAP console and the super chain faucet that you can easily access from this front end. Now we have successfully deployed a DAP to the local testnet. So what if we want to deploy our car?
everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Weenie had some technical problems and we'll be putting it right back. <laughs> hey, yeah, Weenie. Hey, um, let me put on the video file again. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it should be uploaded. Everyone, I'm Winnie. Today I'm going to be giving. Before that, I'm spin some. Before that, I'm also going. To, um, you will be using that as an example. So let's just take a look at the example contracts. So, so these are the contracts that we have as an example. So if we do yarn deploy, it will deploy these contracts to the local testnet or whatever the default testnet is. Um, so let's refresh. Here, we'll see the buy me a coffee contract. And you can do very useful debugging with like this um, simple UI to kind of call functions within the contract to do your testing. So these are all the contracts. And if you add additional contracts, they will all show up here on this interface. And additionally, we have the Superchain DAP console and the Super. Now we to a remote test now, for example, Optimism, Sepolia, or Base. Um, the next we'll follow these, this section to deploy the contracts to the super chain test nets. So first we have to set up the environment files to use our um, address that has the corresponding amount of ETH so that we can pay the gas fees because now we're actually on test net, uh, a remote test net. So I copy, I'm going to copy over the .env .example file into .env and I will edit the .m file with this, with my private key, which I have here. Um, this is a public account, so I'm not particularly worried, and it only has default test, um, some testnet ETH, but I highly don't recommend anyone doing this um, on the screen because this is highly unsafe if you have real funds in it. But because again, this is a public EOA burner account, that's not a big deal. And next, we will just call yarn deploy with the flag network options. And this lets us select exactly which, so which testnet we want to deploy to. So suppose that I want to deploy to all the super chains. Um, in which case I have to have enough testnet ETH in that wallet for all of these um, testnets above, then I can do the following. And right now it's deploying to Hardhat, and now it's deploying to Optimism Sepolia. Let's wait a second. So we can check that the contract is successfully deployed by visiting um, Optimism Sepolia. And yes, the contract is successfully deployed. And now the contract is successfully deployed on all of the super. Yeah, so um, that was the end of the demo. And uh, um, I think the, sure, I can sh share the slides again. Um, yeah, just quickly going. Yeah, so that was the end of the demo, and uh, um, hopefully you guys have seen how to use Scaffold B and have a better understanding of what is the OP stack and the super chain. Um, so that was that would be the end of my presentation. And uh, for more questions about like how to deploy on the OP stack or how to um, spin up an OP chain, um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm Winster X on Farcaster and on Twitter. So, and you have my email address in the demo. So, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Weenie. Awesome.
Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anyone that has any questions or like Winnie said, you can always uh, reach out to her uh, and she will definitely be glad to help you guys. But I'll give one minute, see if anyone drops a question in, in the chat. And if not, we can uh, we can close it out. Okay, seems that we're good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Winnie, for your time, and uh, glad we solved that little technical difficulty. Oh. Mm -hmm. We do have someone ask if you could, do you have the link to? The slides? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I will post the slides. Give me a second. Feel free to send it to me via the private chat tab and I can post it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the link to Cafodo P. <laughs> the link to Scaffold P, yes. Um, let me share the slides one second. Here is the link to the, here's the slides and this is scaffold OP. And uh, another really quick thing that I would love to sh share is our quick start guide, which is extremely helpful. Here. Awesome, that will go right through. Okay, awesome, all links sent. And it seems we don't have any questions. I'll just wait 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Thanks now. Now I think we're good. <laughs> Thanks yes. again, Winnie, for yep. taking the time and joining us. And thank you, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Keep building. We are so excited to see what um, you come up with for uh, our hackathon. And yeah, happy hacking. Thank you, everyone.